hello guys i bring to you another video yet on my channel it's math time questions and answer a channel that gives you insights about the problem giving you headache at school in today's question we are going to talk about uh, functions that is polynomial functions a polynomial is simply an expression that has a consistent uh, sequence of power in decreasing order. From this polynomial, we have uh, x power 3 plus 2x squared plus ax plus c uh, plus b. So such a polynomial is called a cubic equation. If a polynomial has a highest power of 2, we call it a quadratic. And if a polynomial has a power of 4, we call it aquatic polynomial and so on and so forth. So today we are going to see how to work with polynomials if we have a factor or we have a remainder. So today's question is based on what we call the factor theorem or the remainder theorem. From there we are going to see how to factorize the polynomial completely. So without much, much time to waste, let's go direct into the question. So the question says the function f is defined on a set of real numbers r by f of x equals to x cubed plus 2x squared plus ax plus b. When f of x is divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 0. So there is no remainder. So the remainder is 0. Given that x minus 2 is a factor of f of x, x minus 2 is a factor of f of x, a find the value of a and b b factorize f of x completely so let's see how to handle this the solution part we are going to gather the terms we are going to gather information from the question so the question has given us f of x to be that and they, they have given us x plus 1 is a factor. So if we have x plus 1, we need to get the value of x from this x plus 1. To do this, we are going to equate x plus 1 equals to 0 and then we solve for x. So x plus 1 equals to 0. So we are going to take plus 1 to the right hand side of the equation. If we are moving plus 1 to the right hand side of the equation, the sign changes from positive to negative. So we are going to have x equals to 0 minus 1. And 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So x equals to minus 1. But the question says x plus 1. If we divide f of x by x plus 1, the remainder is 0. Meaning that if we have this value now, we have the value of x when we are half x plus 1. So if we substitute this value of x which is minus 1 into f of x, the remainder will be 0. So let's substitute this value minus 1 into f of x, meaning we should go inside f of x, anywhere we see x we put minus 1. So we are going to have f of minus 1 equals to minus 1 cubed because x is there plus 2 into minus 1 squared, yeah, plus a into x, which is minus 1, plus b equals to 0. This equals to 0 is because we have said the remainder is 0. So we expect that if we put minus 1 into f of x, we will have a 0. So let's simplify this. Minus 1 cubed is minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1, which is minus 1. Minus 1 squared is minus 1 times minus 1, which is 1, times 2, which is 2. A times minus 1 is minus A plus B. So we are going to have minus 1, which is minus 1 cubed, plus minus 1 squared, which is uh, 1 times 2, which is 2 times a uh, plus a times minus 1 which is minus a plus b equals to 0. So we have minus 1 plus 2 is 1 minus a plus b equals to 0. So we can bring like terms together. So we we'll keep the variables minus a and b on one side and we we'll take 1 to the other side. It sign changes from positive to negative. So we are going to have minus a plus b equals to minus 1. So we can call this equation the first equation, equation 1. 
So what else has the question given us? The question has given us that given that x minus 2 is a factor of f of x, meaning that we can as well take x minus 2 and to get the value of x in x minus 2, we equate it equals to 0. So to solve for x, we'll take minus 2 to the other side to meet 0. And if it's crossing the equal sign, it changes to positive. So we are going to have x plus uh, x equals to 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 2 is x equals to 2 so again because we have a remainder of 0 because we have we say that it's a factor of f of x meaning we have a remainder of 0 so again we are going to substitute this value of x which is 2 into f of x so we are going to have f of 2 which is 2 cube plus 2 into 2 squared plus a into 2 plus b we are simply going into f of x anywhere we see x we put 2 and we are going to have this so and it's equals to 0 because it's a factor it's a factor means the remainder is 0 if the remainder was 1 then we'll say it's equals to 1 if the remainder was 5 then we'll say it's equals to 5 but since it's a factor meaning the remainder is 0 okay again we are going to have 2 power 3 which is 8 plus 2 power 2 which is 4 times 2 8 plus 2 times a which is 2a plus b equals to 0 so that's what we are going to have 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 2a plus b equals to 0 so if we bring light terms together, we'll leave 2a and b on the left hand side and we'll take 16 to the right hand side to meet 0. If 16 is crossing the equal sign, the sign changes from positive to negative. So we are going to have 2a plus b equals to minus 16. So we'll call that equation, equation 2. Now we are going to we are going to solve these two equations. We call them simultaneous equations. We are going to solve equation 1 and equation 2 at the same time to get the value of a and b. To do this, we can see that what the coefficient of uh, b in equation 1 is 1 and the coefficient of b in equation 2 is 1. So we can subtract equation 1 from equation 2 to eliminate B and then we'll be left with only A. And then we can solve for A and later on substitute the value of A into any of the equation 1 or 2. With this in mind, we can substitute equation 1 from equation 2, which is going to give us equation 2 minus equation 1. In that case, equation 2 is 2A plus b equals to minus 16 and equation 1 is minus a plus b equals to minus 1. If we subtract these two equations, we are going to have 2a minus minus a which is going to give us 2a minus minus is positive. Two minus have met together so it becomes positive. So it becomes 2a plus a which is going to give us 3a b minus b is 0 so b is gone and minus 16 minus minus 1 minus minus 1 is positive so we are going to have minus 16 plus 1 which is minus 15 so we can get the value of a by dividing both sides by 3 we divide there by 3 we divide the right hand side of that equation by 3 so 3 will go there into itself one time into 3 one time and 3 will go into itself one time into 3 five times so the minus there is because of the minus 15 so minus five times so in that case we have a equals to minus 5 now that we have minus 5 we can substitute this value of a equals to minus 5 in either equation 1 or equation 2 any of equation of your choice so for instance i can substitute it in equation one so substituting a equals to minus five in equation one we are going to have instead of a we are going to have minus minus five plus b equals to minus one because equation one is minus a so an a is minus so we have minus this minus for minus that is already here 
so we have the minus and a itself is minus 5 so minus a is minus 5 plus b equals to minus 1 so minus minus 5 is the same as 5 plus b equals to minus 1 so we are going to have b equals to minus 1 minus 5 because minus uh, 5 has gone to the other side it becomes minus here 5 was positive because minus minus 5 is positive but when 5 is going to meet minus 1 on the other side its sign changes to negative so that's why we have minus 5 again here so b is equal to minus 1 minus 5 and minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6 so b is minus 6 so therefore we can rearrange this our f of x with these values of a and b to be f of x equals to x cubed plus 2x squared minus because a is minus 5 minus 5x minus 6 because b is minus 6 so that's how we get the values of a and b so using these values of a and b the next question says we should factorize f of x completely so to factorize this we also know that we have f of x to be x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 and we have the factors of f of x to be x plus 1 and the other to be x minus 2 so to get to factorize f of x completely we need to use any of these factors any of these factors to divide uh, f of x and then we have a quadratic and then we factorize that quadratic note here we don't take any of the we don't just pick any of them that has been given to us we must pick that which has a factor that whose remainder is zero so but in this case all of these x plus one and x minus one are factors but if x minus two was a remainder had a remainder let's say of five or a remainder which is not zero then we can use x minus two to long divide f of x then we we'll only use x plus one because x plus one will be the only factor but in this case we have seen that what x plus 1 is a factor because the remainder is 0 and x minus 2 is a factor because the remainder is also 0 so in that case you choose any of these factors and long divide with f of x so which one should we go for okay let's go for x plus 1 and long divide to c so in this case we are going to long divide x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 which is f of x we long divide it by x plus 1 so when we are using long division of polynomials we need to know that we put like term on top of like terms and like terms under like terms so we don't just arrange the terms as we want so you you will see what i really mean as we go on so let's begin x cubed divided by x the one x will cancel one of the three x's will be left with x squared so we'll put x squared on top of x squared not on top of x cubed nor on top of 5x nor on top of minus 6 so we'll put x squared on top of 2x squared because they are like terms so x cubed divided by x is x squared so we have x squared there on top of like terms so we take x squared times x it will give us x cubed so we'll put x cubed under x cubed here and then we have x squared times 1 is x squared so we'll put x squared under x squared plus x squared there because of this plus sign here so what do we do we subtract them so x cubed minus x cubed is 0 2 x squared minus x squared is 1 x squared and 1 x squared is x squared so we we'll bring down minus 5 x so again we take x squared divided by x one of these x cancels one of the x in the squared so we'll be left with x so x on top of x so plus x there so x times x we have x squared so we'll put it under x squared and x times 1 is 1x and 1x is the same as x we we'll put it under x here so it's plus x because of this plus sign here again so plus 
x again we subtract we subtract this to x squared minus x squared is zero so we write nothing minus five minus one minus five x minus one x is minus six x so you can punch on your calculator to see if you have a problem with signs minus five minus one which is minus six x so we write minus six x under there we can bring down minus six here we have not used it yet we we'll bring down minus six so again we divide minus six x divided by x so x will cancel x will be left with minus six so we write minus six on top of like them minus six minus six times uh, x minus will give us minus and six times x is six x so we have minus six x so minus six times one is minus six x so again we subtract the two quantities together so minus six minus minus six minus minus becomes positive so it becomes minus six plus six and minus six plus six is the same as six minus six which is zero here again we have minus six minus minus six minus minus becomes positive we have again minus six plus six so it's the same as six minus six okay so we have zero zero that's why we say the remainder is zero the fact is a factor so in this case now we can have f of x to be x plus one times what is at the numerator here which is x squared plus x minus six so for us to factorize x squared plus x minus six because we already know one of the factors we need to factorize this quadratic to get the other two factors why do we have three factors before i proceed let me tell you why because the highest power of x is three so we must have three factors if the highest power of x is 2, we must have 2 factors. If the highest power of x is 4, we must have 4 factors. Because the highest power of x here in this section of the f of x is 2, we must have 2 factors. So those 2 factors plus this factor will give us 3 factors. So we will factorize it completely. Okay, let's factorize this f of x completely. To factorize it, we need to know the coefficient of x squared. We multiply it by the constant, which is minus 6. And then we look for the factors of that answer. And then we put. Then I will tell you what to do with the factors. So the coefficient of x squared here is 1 times minus 6 there. We have minus 6. 1 times minus 6, minus 6. Now we need to look for the factors of minus 6. Let's look for the factors of minus 6. The factors of minus 6 are 1 and minus 6 because if we multiply 1 times minus 6 is minus 6. Minus 1 and 6 because if we multiply minus 1 times minus 6 is minus 6. 2 and minus 3 because if we multiply 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Minus 2 and 3 because if we multiply minus 2 and, my, and 3 will give us minus 6. So all, all those are the factors of minus 6. Now that we know these factors of minus 6, we need to look into this pair of factors. Any factor that we have that will give us 1 here for, for 1x here. 1 for 1x. So 1 plus minus 6 is minus 5 so it's not 1 minus 1 plus 6 is 5 so it's not 1 2 plus minus 3 is minus 1 is not 1 so we cannot use it minus 2 and plus 3 is 1 so we use that pair of factor so the pair of factor that we use for this equation is minus 2 and 3 okay with this in mind uh, smart smart students can just say the factors of this quadratic equation are x plus 1 x minus 2 and x plus 3 because the coefficient of x squared here is 1 so in that case the co the the factors will be what we have here so there will be x minus 2 and x plus 3 but 
for the sake of this video i'm going to show you how to use these factors that we have derived here to proceed with the question and in the case where the fact the coefficient of x squared is not one so you need to proceed you cannot just pick the factors like that so let's proceed that means that what we are now going to replace this x here by these factors minus two and three so we are going to have f of x equals to x plus 1 into x squared we need to replace this x here by these factors that we choose here so into minus 2x plus 3 this 3 here x minus 6 nothing has changed because if we do minus 2x plus 3x it will still give us x but now instead of three terms we have four terms the reason why we want to have four terms is because we can make them even and then we can group the first two terms together and group the next two terms together so let's group them we are going to have this x plus 1 into x squared minus 2x we group that one plus 3x minus 6x we group these two in this first bracket here we are going to look for what is common that's where the term factorization comes in what is common we factor out so we can see that x is in x squared and there is x in 2 so we'll factor out x to give us x times what will give us x squared x times x and x times what will give us minus 2x x times minus 2 so in that first bracket we are going to have x into x minus 2 plus in the second bracket what is common there is 3 in 3x and there is 3 in 6 so we factor out 3 3 times what will give us 3x 3 times x and 3 times what will give us uh, minus 6 3 times minus 2 so we can see that what is in this bracket here x minus 2 is the same thing in this bracket here x minus 2 so the factors will be x minus 2 what is common in the two brackets and what is outside the two brackets x plus 3 so the factors of f of x now will be x plus 1 into what is inside the brackets x minus 2 into what is outside the bracket x plus 3 so the factors of f of x will be x plus 1 x minus 2 x plus 3 so in this case we have factorized f of x completely so if you multiply these three factors together they will give you x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 if you try and you don't have the answer leave a comment on the comment section so guys that's how we handle polynomials that's how we work with the remainder theorem that's how we work with complete factorization using long division stay with me and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe share like and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos don't forget to also leave a comment with the questions that you want me to help solve stay blessed and remain blessed bye bye